All right, I am with our guest this week on Poker News, Mr. William Hung. Thank you for taking time to chat with me. I see you're you're in your car. Where are you right now in the world? Uh, I am in Los Angeles. <laughs> I seen uh, you know I was doing my research before I chatted with you. Uh, we're going to talk a lot of poker today. You're you're actually quite the poker aficionado. I'm sure most people you know recognize you from American Idol back in the day, but you play a lot of poker, and it seems like you play you know, your fair share of poker in Los Angeles. Yes, I do. Where uh, Whereabouts do you play, and, you know, what sort of games do you like to play? I usually play at the Commerce and uh, Gardens Casino. Uh, I like to play the cash games for no limit. Nice. And uh, what what sort of stakes do you usually play? Do you play, you know, 1-3, or do you ever take uh, higher shots? Uh, I, actually, I usually play 5-5, five, five, and then sometimes the 5-10 games when the games are good. Nice. And uh, on Hand and Mob, of course, is, is tournament poker. You've actually got uh, almost $58,000 in lifetime earnings, and that included a uh, $17,000, almost $18,000 $18, score a few years back, 2015. You, uh, you were in Las Vegas at the World Series of Poker, and uh, you, you took third in one of those daily deep stacks. Yeah, that's incredible because it's like thousands of people. It's not easy to do. Is that uh, you know your proudest poker accomplishment so far? Yeah, I would say what. Yeah, for sure, it's one of them. Nice. And uh, you, uh, your first result came back in 2014. But you know, is that when you took up poker, or when did you first start learning the game? I started learning the game after my American Idol fame brought back in 2004. I figured that you know I need something to do on on time in between the traveling and performing, and that's when I started playing the Limit Games back then. Yeah, very nice. So you took up poker, and uh, you've been playing it now. If you took it up back then, you know, for, for 15 years, you know, do you ever get recognized at the poker tables from, uh, you know, from your time on American Idol? Yeah, sometimes people would say, like, oh, my God, how, what's he doing here? I knew that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I mean, I assume that uh, they enjoy playing with you, right? You... You were kind of a, a viral star before viral was really a thing, because back in 2004, the internet was around, but we didn't have the social media that we do today, you know, the Twitters, the Instagrams, and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So I assume a lot of them probably want their picture taken with you for their Instagram and for their, their Twitter account and such. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, looking back, 2014, way back when, American Idol... Uh, you know, was that, uh, looking back, a positive experience for you? or you know? Oh, for sure, for sure. I, there, I'm very grateful because without this experience, I wouldn't be able to make the impact I'm making today. And tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, what you are doing today and, uh, you know, what, what's getting you out there? What's, uh, what's life like for William Hung nowadays? Well, I'm besides poker, I also help people with coaching and speaking. I help people uncover their inspiring personal stories so that they can be heard. Very nice. On Poker News, we talk a lot of uh, you know stories, inspiring stories about uh, you know that happened within the poker world. Uh, do you keep on top of you know the poker scene, you know the news that is happening in the poker industry, or do you just like to play? Um, I, I I try to keep up with some of it, like like some of the major uh, trends or changes, but I I don't pay like too close attention to the high stakes community yet because I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, have you ever had the chance to play with any of the famous poker players that are that are out there? Yeah, I I remember I played with Johnny Chan uh, nice. and in one of the one of the celebrity uh, WPT tournaments in LA, and I had I somehow busted him. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, yeah, Johnny Chan. He doesn't play, you know, a ton of tournaments any uh, these days to, to be able to yeah. play against him. Um, yeah, and you know why we're having you on the podcast is uh, we're actually going to promote a charity event that is coming up in Las Vegas. The annual, the twelfth annual, Anti for Autism is going to be held at the Golden Nugget. Uh, you're going to be there on. Let's see, it's going to be Saturday, January twenty fifth, Golden Nugget. Yep. Uh, event begins at 7, doors open at 6 p.m. This is open to the public, so if anybody's in Vegas and wants to play with William Hung and others, they can go down there. But uh, is this an event that you're excited for? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I'm very passionate about raising money to 
help people uh, overcome autism. I've spoken for uh, numerous uh, autism events in the past, so the, I, I like to be part of the call. Right. And have you played this particular event in the past? Yes. I, rem I remember I either played last year or the year before. Very nice. And how did that, uh, you know, opportunity to play this event to combine your passion for, you know, raising money for charity and playing poker, how did this uh, come about to, to play this particular event if it was a couple years ago? Uh, well, Karina uh, is a good friend of mine, so she invited me. I'm, I know I remember it last year now. So, yeah, so she invited me to be part of this event, and I, I'm happy to do it again. Very nice. And so there's got to be a big difference when you play an event like this, a charity event, than when you play, you know, 5-5, five, five, no limit, hold them with your own money. You know, charity events are a little more relaxed, a little more fun. Yeah, than, yeah. Do you go in there with, uh, you know, with any sort of plan to, to fire away or to mix it up? Um, I, I, just, I just try to uh, last as long as I can uh, because uh, typically the charity events, uh, you, need, you need to be super lucky to win anyway. So it's, not, it's pointless to come up with some cool strategy because the lines go up so fast. Uh, uh, you know, I remember last year when I play. You know, in the beginning, there's a lot of play, and then, and then towards the end, it's just so fast that we just have to close our eyes and go all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that pretty much sums up what uh, you know charity poker events are all about. So you're you live in LA, I assume. Yes. And so you're going to travel all the way to Las Vegas. Do you get out to Vegas, you know, very often? Um, I used to. I used to like like go like uh, once a quarter. And I haven't been there in a, in a while, more than six months. So, yeah, I'm excited to go back again. Yeah, I bet you are. Now, you obviously have been at the World Series of Poker. That's where you're, you know, you've got quite a few results in the daily deep stacks and such. Have you ever played any of the bigger tournament uh, tournaments that take place at the World Series? Yes, I actually play at the main event. Uh, I, I think it's 2015. Uh, because uh, I remember I had a lot of friends and, and even some of the professional poker players, they backed my entries. Like, oh my God, that's a dream come true. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, playing the main event is the, you know, the dream of most everybody. Speaking of the main event, if you play the charity uh, event at uh, you know, the Golden Nugget with William Hung and others, you're going to be playing against a lot of the top professionals. As you mentioned, Karina Jett, her husband Chip Jett are going to be there. There's going to be some other celebrities there as well. Uh, Jose Canseco is among them, uh, Richard Steele, Rich, uh, Ricardo Laguna, um, Randy Couture, the MMA fighter. So there's going to be a, a full slate. Uh, let me ask you about your WSOP main event experience. Did you, you know, how did it go? Did it go well? Uh, how deep did you go? Um, I, actually, I actually very pleased with the way I played. Uh, I made uh, uh, somewhere in the middle of day two, and then I just got one unlucky hand, and, you know, it happens. Because it's tournament, you cannot go back and buy back in. So, you know, I, I want to do it again uh, this year. There you go. You know, I got to ask poker, you know, poker players, celebrity, celebrities who play poker, I got to ask you, you know, what's the worst bad beat that you've ever taken? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, think, I think that where was here the poker main event hand was uh, back in 2015 was, was pretty bad beat because, because uh, I, will, I know I was ahead with top pair. I think I had like 8-8. Eight, eight. It was 8-3, deuce, 5, 2 hearts. The other guy has like a like a hard draw, ace jack of hearts, and then he hits the uh, the jack on the river. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that one hurts. And uh, you yeah, know, they say busting the main event is the the worst day of the year for any any poker player. I, I assume you were feeling the pain especially hard after the river card. Yeah, and I and I feel I letting I'm let I let people down as well. You know, because because a lot of people believed in me that year. Sure, yeah. I mean, I know exactly what you mean. I've had people stake me in tournaments before by action. And, uh, yeah, it's one thing to bust on your own dime, but when others invest in you, it certainly feels like you're letting them down. But, uh, you know, like you said, you got it in good. Not much uh, you can do. You just got to fade that river. Right, down. right, right, right. All right, another quick fun question for you. If the American Idol judges were to come and play poker, which one do you think would do the best? Ooh, uh, Simon Cow. <laughs> because because Simon even you know even though on the surface you look like he's a mean guy uh, he's a reputation for that he's actually very cool and calculated business per business person out of the three judges he's by far the most successful uh, business person in the, in the entertainment industry. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it would be awesome if Simon came into the World Series of Poker and, you know, tried his luck, tried his hand, and, uh, you know, it'd be fun. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, well, before I let you go, William, is there anything, uh, you know, you want to say about the uh, the upcoming charity event at the Golden Nugget, the, uh, the uh, Raising Money for Autism? Well, uh, just just come on out and ha and have fun, uh, like 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 we uh, mentioned throughout the show. Because charity event, that's what it's all about, right? It's not about winning. It's about uh, you know building relationships, enjoying each other's company, uh, and raising money for a good cause. 